hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how to use the clipping widget in flutter and get an output like this so i'm not using any photoshop to get this um, it's just not that this pattern i can also get patterns like this where i'm able to clip it on all the four ends so you can do all this just by using flutter so let's get started so to start with i'm just having a normal dart file first one which is called another stateful dart file so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to return a scaffold which has a body and this you got to use uh, the widget called clip path so this is where the magic happens and um, yeah so this is a return so it, yeah so this is the method that's called the clip path and inside the clip path you can add your child which could be either a container or an image it's not necessary since i've used a background color you in fact you could use an image or any other patterns or any other custom images also so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this container with the circle avatar and image and a text. So that's what is going to be the content of this container for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use stacking because I'm stacking one element over the other. So I'll start up as stack. Inside my stack what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a fit stack expand and inside this goes my children widget now this is what your first element is the first element of your um, clip path is your container which is this purple background so we're gonna create this so I'm gonna use a container my container I'm gonna use a box decoration And then I'm going to clip the box. So we're going to use box decoration. There you go. And we're going to give some custom colors. So let me get those custom colors. And I'm also going to give some gradient. Just don't want to stick with one color. So also I'm going to give some gradient. I've also covered these topic in my previous tutorial. So I'll leave a link in the description so you can find how to create gradients with your color since i'm using multiple colors i'm just gonna okay for this i'm gonna use single color so i'm just gonna save this no i'm using multiple color but i'm using the same pattern here and uh, i'm gonna give a beginning a begin with alignment center center right yes okay and and I'm gonna give an end which is new alignment with minus one and minus one okay I see that I've not given different colors so I'm just gonna grab my custom colors and show you how it looks so I'm gonna use this and this okay there you go I have two colors here okay so I have to find my beginning and end points so where is my container ending here so first thing I have to find my container now after your container I'm going to define the circle avatar and the text and the icon so for that I'm going to define a column inside my column I'm going to give children widget 
and uh, the first widget would be the child that is a circle avatar but i would like to give a padding before i start any item inside the container so i'm going to give a padding and the padding would be mm, padding constant edge insets it's dot only okay i'm going to be padding only in the top so it's going to be top and i'm going to give a 30 okay now comes my child avatar which is the circle so i'm going to use a circle avatar now inside the circle avatar i'm going to give a background color to it which is colors white and i'm going to give a radius of 90 because 50 or 70 seems to be a smaller one and my icon it needs to fit my icon i mean the profile image then my child the child that I'm using here is an asset, image asset, which I already have in my images folder here, which is profile.png. So I'm just going to use the same. So it's images hyphen, I mean, slash profile.png. Okay. So now we have defined the container the circle avatar and the image yes we have done this part now we have to just define this text and then we can continue with the clipping so here ends my padding and uh, i want to give a padding again so that there is some space between the circle avatar and the text and i'm going to make it eight this time And I'm going to say all and let's close this okay Uh, I think when I say all, I'm not supposed to give this parameter. If I say only, that's when I mention whether it's top, bottom, left, right. So the first child inside this is the text, which says Android developer. And I'm going to give some style to it, which is... color is white and a font is of 24 so there you go so we're done with the first text so for the second text I'm going to use the same just change the font and uh, the padding so I'm going to make this as 20 give a padding of 3 and I'm going to change this to the city, which is New York, and then white. So there you go. So we got to find out where the clip path ends. So this is where your clip path ends. And I'm going to give a comma here. Here, this is stack. Yeah. So there is, we need to call the clipper after your stack and inside your clip path so there is some there is another widget that we need to call which is called clipper and instead of defining the entire clipper here i'm defining it in a separate method and i'm going to i mean separate class and i'm going to show you how to do that so i'm going to say header say 
um, at our color I'm gonna say because I'm using different colors to represent it so now I have to define this header color here now what is it so that's a class call header color which extends this this part defines your clipping now I'm going to explain how you do your cl clipping here so custom clipper with the path so yes um, so this class has a missing implementation so we'll check what are the two implementations that we are missing so the first one yeah get clip and um, should reclip so here what we're going to do is we're going to use functional expression and just return false and in this this is where we're going to do our clipping so the first thing is we're going to define our path and we're going to say path This gaps there you go so first thing path dot line 2 I'm gonna say 0 0 I'll first type it and then then explain you how how did I come up with these values so I'm gonna say size height minus 380 semicolon yeah so size it's size dot height minus three now what i'm doing is it's it's basically defining the x and y axis here and it's gonna take from this point so at this point your x and y is zero now i and this is your y axis now i want this entire container to clip at this point so obviously it's gonna be some minus value here minus y value but my x is gonna be zero here so that's what you define here it's zero and then your y is nothing but the size height is the size height of this container minus certain value since i want it at this point i'm using minus 380 if you want at this point you just have to change the value to minus uh, 280 so that way you get the variation here so when you do this first and before this using the header clipper the entire container is purple now when the moment i say path line 2 it's going to clip to this particular point so we've got our first clipping now a second clipping is we need this to go to this point right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say path dot line 2 and I'm going to use side width. My x is not going to change in this case. You see, in this case, my x value is going to be the same width. There is no change in the x value. But the y is going to get shifted. It's going to get clipped to this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the x same as the size width. And my y, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say size height minus 280. Now I'll tell you how did I come to 280. Now if you see here if this point is 380 size height minus 380 then I want something above it so it would be size height minus 280. If I had wanted this clipping point to be here then I would have used size 8 minus 480. So you want it the higher you keep reducing the value I mean if you want to go down you keep increasing it so that's how you play around with this clipping value then after this it has to come back to this point and complete it to this point so I have to put my line to back to this so it's gonna be path dot line to Again, my x is going to be the same. 
but my y will be 0. I'll show you how that is in a moment. Okay, so we were at this point. Now what we are doing is, yeah, we were at this point. Now we have to go back to this point. So here my y is 0. So y is 0. But my x will remain the same. It's the same width. So that's why you define the same size dot width. And then always we have to follow, we have to close it. Or else it's going to be, it's going to show random shape. And then I'm going to do a semicolon. And then it's going to return a path. So that's it. So this is how you do it. So first I'm going to build this and show you how it looks. And then we can um, do certain other variations and see how it works. And, and I'm also going to give you a brief uh, quick recap of how to do this. There you go. So I have built the application now. And now you can see how the output looks like. Now I'm going to show you something. Now instead of this one instead of clipping at this point what if i want the line to be the other side so instead of clipping here i want it to clip here and instead of here it should clip here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to change this and to change these two values and i'm going to do a hot restart and you could see so instead of clipping this side it's going to clip the other way so do you see that so this is how you play around with the clipping value and the line too and the different colors but I also have another one where um, yeah I've done this kind of a clipping where I've clipped all the four corners so in this case I've just clipped one part but not the other one the other ones I have left it to zero zero but instead of that I even clip the other ends so I'm just going to show you how to do this one so quickly i'm gonna take the clipping values so i'm gonna show you there you go so i've updated the clipping values so it's exactly the same thing the only thing was uh, i had another extra line too that is this line just to ensure that this does not go to this end and then closes and do a close up here instead it again clips here and then clips here as well so also I made sure that I put the container to the center instead of start so this is how you achieve these kind of patterns using clipper and flutter and definitely you can get you can use different colors different patterns and there is also you can get curve patterns here so if you want me to do a tutorial on it just leave a comment um, and i'll see if i could come up with a tutorial and uh, yeah that's it for today and uh, please do like my videos and subscribe if you like it thank you